All right, welcome back everybody. Good Wednesday evening to you all live. Look up in Browning. Of course, this picture has looked worse. Uh, some wind gusts in the Browning area today, upwards of about 50 miles per hour and uh, right around two medicine near Highway 2 and you can see some of the ripples because of the wind that has been uh, blowing some of the snow around a winter weather advisory. We're not up to blizzard warning uh, conditions just yet. Uh, I'm expecting those conditions to really increase though Friday, Saturday and Sunday. But nonetheless, Highway 2, 464, uh, 89 down through Hart Butte over through Depuyer. We are under a winter weather advisory until this evening. And then the wind should die down overnight tonight. And a wind chill advisory, Malta, Hinsdale, Glasgow, up through Opium, all the way out to Wolf Point. Dangerously cold wind chill values down to about 35 degrees below zero. Elsewhere around the country, flooding an issue along the Mississippi River and the Ohio River. If you talk to any friends, or family in the eastern part of the country, 70s and 80s as far north as New England. Very, very unusually warm for the eastern part of the country. And of course, the western U.S. is looking at very, very cold air and uh, looking at this dynamic storm system that's moving up through the Mississippi Valley. We've got a few tornado warnings earlier, some flooding going on in Louisiana, parts of Arkansas. And on the backside, this pink here, freezing rain and sleep. Helena right now, we are a little inverted, meaning an inversion trapping some pollution and some moisture. It's a little warmer up on the hills around town. 11 degrees in Great Falls. Notice a bit of wind. 13 degrees southwest wind at 13 miles per hour. Feels like 2 degrees below zero. Here are the current readings. Haver. Five below zero. Poor folks up in Haver. What a winter it has been. Two below in Glasgow, three below in Miles City, and generally the low teens elsewhere. Look at the wind. Cup Bank out of the west, 25 miles per hour. Great Falls, Lewistown, 10, 15 miles per hour, and even some wind up in northeast Montana. Here are the wind chills, 20 degrees below zero. Currently, the wind chill in Glasgow feels like 19 degrees below zero in Haver. Here's what will happen. A little high cloud cover will come in tonight, and we'll even see a little snow breaking out here along the Continental Divide tomorrow, perhaps even in the mountains around Helena. We'll likely go overcast here for a little bit tomorrow afternoon. Maybe a little light snow around Helena and point south. Otherwise, not looking at much in the way of snow. Friday should be a mostly sunny day. However, that wind will really increase off the Rocky Mountain front. I'm expecting a blizzard warning uh, to be issued for Friday. Dangerous travel conditions because of reduced visibility. Lows tonight, very cold, maybe not as cold as it's been the last few nights, but still dangerously cold. Some spots up along the high line near 20 degrees below zero. Wind chill maybe below zero around Lewistown. Air temperatures in the capital not quite as cold as last night when we were down 10, 15 degrees below zero. Here's the forecast for tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies up north. Highs in the single digits and the teens. No snow up here. But when you get down really south of Lewistown, maybe up there around Showdown, also Great Divide picking up a little light snow. There could be a little light snow flurry activity around the capital. I'm putting it at about a 60% chance at uh, just some light snow in the Helena area, maybe in the afternoon. This may create a coating on the ground at best. Friday's not too bad, but wind and some snow return Saturday, then Sunday night into Monday. And this wind, just like it's been here the last mm -hmm. several weeks, will be problematic. Great Falls, your wind really picks up on Friday. How about Saturday? 20 to 40 mile per hour winds Sunday. Winds in Great Falls could come close to 50 miles per hour. There's a chance over the weekend, right near East Glacier, Hart Butte, mm -hmm. uh, hurricane force winds once again. So I'm expecting it to be extremely difficult travel around East Glacier mm -hmm. over the weekend. All right, thank you, sir. Appreciate it.